Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys an update on the progress on my Union Pacific Challenger by Bowser. If, if some of you guys remember, we've been building this for about a year and a half, maybe even two years now if I'm remembering right. And uh, yeah, it's uh, finally to the point where I think it's complete, if you guys know what I mean. The only thing that it's missing currently is these little caps. I have them, I just haven't taken the time to get them in because they're a little bit too big for some reason. But yeah, I just finally got the uh, drive rods all sorted completely. And uh, a couple months ago, I got the I got new drive tubing inside uh, because the old stuff was just dry rotting out. So I, I needed to figure out a way to do that. And I might make a video on custom drive line tubing at some point. If you guys would like to see a video, uh, definitely let me know. Uh, I, I'll do a video on it. And I don't really know what else to say about it. It's it's pretty cool. <laughs> so I think I'll stop yapping about it or whatever you want to say, and uh, let you guys enjoy some running action. So uh, let's get to that. And there you guys go. This is the Challenger by Bowser pulling 10 cars around the layout. It could easily pull more, I just I didn't feel like getting them all out because it would have taken absolutely forever to put them all away and I feel like 10 cars is still pretty impressive for the size of my layout. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little update and if you guys have any ideas for the Challenger let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear it. Should we paint it? Should we not paint it? Should we well, what should we do? Let, let me know. Um, yeah. But anyway, this has been it for the first real video of 2024. So thank you guys for sticking around. Uh, I appreciate it so very much. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Keep on model railroading.